Hello, and welcome. So this video, um, now that I've got Pro Tools up, um, this is a follow-up I did on Twitch. I did some live streams. I joined a contest. It was the Produce Like a Pro, uh, Rate My Mix, whatever, uh, Henning Polly, Campaign Like Clockwork, Patiently Mixing Contest. I entered that. I submitted my thing, I don't know, I think 4th of July or 3rd of July, something like that. And yesterday the winners were announced. Uh, out of 6,725 entrants, I... Let me see what would be the math. I was in the other 6,719 who did not make it in the top six. Or rather, the three runners up in the top three. Now, thoughts about that aside... Uh, I thought, well, what can I learn from the winning entry? Because all three judges, Warren Hewitt, Henning Pauly, and Glenn Fricker, said uh, that the winning mix was an absolutely phenomenal pro-level job. Uh, and it, you know, to use my colloquialism, blows their tits off. Clearly, my mix did not blow their tits off. So um, I wanted to, this is going to be a two-part thing. First thing, I'm going to A, B actually A, B, and C, the original mix provided, done by Henning Polly. Then I'm going to contrast that with the winning mix and also against my submission. Now, for the sake of experimentation, uh, I'm going to try and level match these as best I can, but uh, the level matching in, in the metric AV is a little weird It's because I'm comparing three tracks within it and not whatever, but they should, hopefully. Um work out properly but uh so the the criteria for choosing the winner as uh was mentioned on the live stream yesterday was that uh Henning Pauly wanted the same mix that he did but better pause for the thoughts I'm not vocalizing so with that um as you can see you know I'm looking at these waveforms so uh, also, so for, for the sake of the experiment, for the winner's track and my track that I'll be comparing it to, I ripped those from SoundCloud uh, for, for the sake of comparison and, uh, and uniformity. So this is the one, and you can see uh, right here, this is a very sort of, it's not totally squared off. There are some peaks and everything, but this has clearly been mastered, and this is the uh, full mix that was provided with the mix tracks. This is the winning entry, which... You know, it's not as squared off. It's a little more dynamic, uh, you know, out at the fringes. And then here's mine, which is clearly quieter. Um, but then, you know, I believe them when they said that uh, volume wouldn't matter, that all entries would be listened to uh, level matched. I'll take them at their word on that, although tip for all you uh, mixing contest folks out there, you enter one, make it loud. They lie. So let's see. So first, this is Heading Pauly's mix. So, 
My initial thoughts on that, and to explain my process, when I got the mix tracks, I did not listen to this original mix. I didn't listen to anybody else's submitted mixes. I wanted to go in blind, make the decisions based on you know, my gut, my opinion, my sensibilities, and, and let it uh, let it work out in the wash. When I finally did listen to it, my opinion hasn't changed much. The toms, when they come in, I think sound like garbage. Uh, I mean, whatever, if that's what the band likes, but they, they sound like they're, they're made out of cardboard. I just, I'm not a fan. And, uh, apparently during yesterday's live stream, Henning said, uh, lots of people went for the big thunderous Tom sound and that's not what we, they were going for. I'm like, well, all right, but I think those Tom sound like crap. Uh, the kick does, uh, does poke through a little harder. Um, but there's, despite what the meters are showing me, I'm not hearing a lot of low end. Uh, I'm hearing a lot of mid-rangey stuff. The vocals sound great. Uh, the snare when it comes in, and that's one of the big things I struggled with because I like a nice big Alex Van Halen type snare sound. Um, uh, the, the snare just... I don't know. It's there and it's got some snap to it, but I want it. I want it thick and beefy and in my face. Um, the chorus sounds fine. Again, I, when I finally heard this mix, I didn't particularly care for it. I liked mine more, but you know, I should, right? Uh, so that was, so that was Henning Pauly's mix. This is the winning entry. So just to compare those two intros, um, this is the winner. This is the original mix. bass comes in way more in your face the toms are more in your face they're a little clicky they are sharper on the attack and i, I prefer that to the the original not a still not huge whatever <laughs> So comparing those two, yes, the winning track does sound like Henning's mix, but better. It does. I, I don't think there's a way to argue around that. Uh, I don't know if there's an argument to be made. I do like the way the snare comes in. It's still, I don't know, it's not my type of snare sound. But uh, um, so now let's go in and let's reset the playback points for all of these. And so then this is the mix I submitted. It is much quieter. Also, um, you can tell on the meters that these two are hitting about the same loudness level. But volume doesn't matter.
original mix. Okay, so there is one thing, two things I've noticed. One, the kick drum on both the uh, original mix and the winning mix, way louder, way more compressed, far more than I did. Um, I've also, this is the first time I've listened to this sober, <laughs> since I submitted it to mine anyway. Uh, and I remember listening to it, uh, I think it was last week, well, I'd, after I'd been drinking some beer. Um, and I do remember li f wanting to bring the kick drum up. So I will say, okay, points off me, the kick drum really isn't there. Uh, when the snare comes in, I way lo I like my snare sound and where it's sitting and the cymbals a lot more. Uh, I did notice in comparison to the two that in the verses, while I think the voc my vocal stands up against them, um, the toms do get sort of a little lost in the verses in mine, like. Uh overall there's a little more high end uh so let's compare those well, i can't do a dual one but
think Paul is saying something about the end of the second verse where these weird guitar things come in. My snare does end up sounding here. It's a little shotgunny. Uh, I don't hate it, but uh, I, that's the kind of snare I like. In comparison to the the other two tracks, maybe went a little heavy-handed with it, uh, and not heavy-handed with the kick drum enough. I uh, still, you know, listening to all three of them. Um, there is the 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 high-end gloss across the whole track, um, which. I mean, let me see on mine, my mix. I mean, I got a, I do have, a, I mean, do have some master bus uh, EQ stuff, vitalizer, quad image. I didn't do an actual full mastering on it because it's a mixing competition. Pause for the thoughts I'm not vocalizing. Um, yeah, I mean, listening to, to them, I feel, I mean, I, I don't feel there's anything materially wrong with my mix. Um, the kick drum needs to be louder, clearly, to put compete with, with uh, theirs, because it's really not kicking through at all, cutting through. I like the low end on mine a little more. Um, I like my vocal sound just as much. The snare sound, I probably could have backed off a little bit um, on some of the, the low mids on the snare, I think. Eh, but maybe not. I don't know. I, li I like that chunky block of wood you know, thick sounding snare. I mean, when I played actual drums, my favorite was, uh, I had the, the, the John Bonham Ludwig, uh, you know, seven by 14. Uh, but then I've known drummers that like piccolo snares cause I like that snap and attack. I prefer the low chunky bit, whatever it's preference. Um, I do want to check out the bridge and going into the solo cause, um, getting those background vocals right in the solo or in the bridge, uh, took some took some work. Oh my god! Look how, whatever. I did notice that mine, in terms of dynamics, mine's a little more compressed than theirs. Um, at least the dynamics reader. But everything else, I haven't checked correlation. Uh, loudness, theirs is coming in around like eh, low eights. Mine's hitting around you know nine. Which, again, that's that is a difference because loudness matters. Frequency spectrum wise, I'm not seeing anything that's like horribly different but uh let's see this is so this is henning Polly's mix also i feel like i should point this out first one in the slot henning Polly's. second one is the contest winner and this last one is mine uh, mine 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 all right henning Polly's bridge no need to cry already lifeless it's not a That was Henning Polly's. To cry, already lifeless. It's not a crime. It's only kindness. No need to cry, already alive. While well, those backgrounds come in, they sound to me at least they sound way buried. Here is mine. To cry, 
If I may be so bold, I think the backgrounds in that section for mine, while they're relatively the same same uh, pocket, I feel mine cut through a little more. I mean, yeah, I feel like that's uh they're they're all sort of right in there. Let's check out the beginning of the solo, which being a guitar player myself, I worked very hard on. So this is Henning's mix. <laughs> Very tasty guitar solo, by the way. I had a lot of fun mixing that. Uh, let's see. Similar. Maybe I just suck at listening, but well, first of all, I definitely like the way mine mine is a little float floated up. Uh, one of the things I remember really wanting to go for with the guitar solo is you know he's got some parts where it sounds like he's hanging just on the edge of feeding back, and I really want to bring that out because as a lead guitar player, I think that stuff is really really cool. Um, <laughs> Maybe I floated it up too much, uh, but I did that with the intent that someone else would have master would be mastering this, and then it would probably get pushed down in the mix. Because mixing contests, apparently, you gotta master your shit now. Sorry, that was me being salty. I'm not sorry. Nobody's watching this. I can be a dick if I want to. Um, all right, let's go to the end. Where is the end? It's after the solo, and then there's a weird like. Hold on. <laughs> That is just heartbreaking for two reasons. One, I don't like the, I mean, the crash symbol is fine, the, the playing and everything, but the symbols with these tracks were so kind of weird. It took a lot of work, but oh, the big tom roll. I worked real hard on mine to make that tom roll so big. Hopefully it still sounds big or else I'm going to sound like a total dickhead. Um, That was the winning entry, that second one. Uh, is that right here? 
one of the tracks that they did not choose to accentuate but so that's interesting um all right so uh, so these are my my key takeaways one kick drum i i should have made the kick drum way louder than i did not sure quite why well i didn't want to be overpowering i felt when i you know so that was i don't know my bad i need to work on that uh clearly i should have submitted it louder um that is, is, I mean, yeah, that goes without saying. It should have, mine should have been louder. Uh, also, I, the, the, the high end across the whole track, there's a clarity there that um, mine, I don't want to call mine woolly, because I think that's a, a not entirely accurate statement, but I do feel uh, there, there's some room to, to you know, Make it sh make it shine and shimmer on the top end across the whole track. Make it a little clearer. Um, you know, yeah, if I, I overdo it on the the shotgun snare in a couple set, and you know, particularly like the second uh, chorus. Eh, I don't know how that happened just in that section, but uh, so I could have compressed that more. But yeah, I I like my tom sound way better, bar none. Like there's no I I like the cymbal sounds, um, which are the regular cymbals that were recorded, but also augmented. I like the balance on them. Um, yeah, so I mean, three things I lost on, or didn't even <laughs> love to be in with these 6,719 or 18, I guess 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So wait, oh yeah, so 9, 20, 21, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So yeah, the other 6,719. Uh, that did not even get a mention. Um, so, at the very least, um, while I didn't win cool shit, didn't get a shout out, which would have been fun, um, I don't think uh, I don't think I did half bad. Really, I like my mix the most for the most part. My misstep was not mastering my own mix clearly, um, and turning the kick drum up, which, in part two of this video. I will be taking my tracks with the uh, both comparing against the winner and Henning's original track to get mine at least sonically because I'm like I, I like my tom sounds I'm not screwing with those um, to you know get it there you know find the right pocket for the kick work on the snare a little bit uh, and get the uh, the high end and volume so it's only four things to work on but I will be doing that in part two so. Uh, did you enter the campaign for clockwork par party, <laughs> the mixing competition? Um, what were your thoughts about? It? I know uh, from the chat there was some um, uh, debate, um, but uh, or you know what do you think? Do you uh, having listening listened to these three back that I bounce back and forth? Do you think uh, I'm just absolutely uh, incompetent? Should quit doing this kind of stuff because mine sucks? Uh, or, uh, you know, yeah, let me know which one is your favorite. 
if you want to or not. That's, that's cool. I'm going to go get some beer and then continue with part two. Um, all right. Stick around for that. <laughs>